5% damage to the hull. And he's now kind of pushing us towards the shore, which is a bit of a problem. So I need to try and force my way off him somehow. Okay, this is a bit scary, guys. I've got full engine and we're still stuck on this guy. We need to go and make a bit more dosh. So, uh, I don't think there's much more to do other than just go and enjoy this fantastic game out on the ocean waves. I would so prefer to have a steering wheel and uh, a throttle. It would make the game so much more immersive, it really would. But, I mean, that's a long way off having a steering wheel and a, and a, and a throttle, which obviously would be vastly more realistic. Being able to climb up and down the ladders as well would just improve this game ten times. And they might feel that that's unnecessary animation, but honestly, it makes a huge difference. So I'm going to try and talk to the devs about changing this. I mean, it would be nice if this dial here rotated as well. But um, we definitely need to be able to see the knots here, even when it's not on. So I don't think we need our crew member for this. We can do all this ourselves. So the yellow boy stays at the top and the red boy comes up when we've got a bite on it. I think that's how it works. I think that's the logic by which this system works. Check we haven't got any boats in the vicinity. That one's quite close, but it doesn't look like it's moving. And uh, having done this yesterday, I think three and a half knots was about the right speed so that uh, it remains a nice calm casual setting of lines we can also get our crew member to do this um, if I come I come over here to the crew oh where's my crew gone he's gone I guess um, what am I doing up here got some bugs this game it really does I guess um, we made like uh, 150,000 on our previous fish and I guess he's just maybe gone to the pub squandering it. Hey, I wonder if I could get... Now this is interesting. If I went back to port and bought another 8 pots could I put 16 pots out? I don't know if that would work because obviously if there's 8 in the water if there, sorry, if there's 16 in the water and I pull 8 out then I've got 8 on board so I would have to get rid of them at port, otherwise I wouldn't be able to um, get any more in. But if I was sort of alternating between the two, if I was alternating between the two, it should be fine, shouldn't it? We could probably go full speed, to be fair. Wouldn't be the end of the world. See, I'm ready to go already. Let's just crack it up to full speed. Come on, that's 100 metres, surely. Oh, come on, that's 100 metres, thank you. So yeah, I kind of feel like um, there's no reason to do anything other than just speed line it back to shore. I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to I'm going to figure out I'm going to figure out whether or not we can switch the rigging without losing what's out there. They've all been baited, which is good. So if we go to the dark and change our rigging, see, I don't understand why we can't have both at the same time. I guess it's something to do with how much you can get on board. So let's just have a look, see here. Nope, see our stuff's still out there. That's cool. So then whilst we're waiting for that, see if I can find some of those fantastic swordfish. You can see my lines out there. They're doing pretty good. So whilst we're waiting for the lines to be ready to haul in, I mean, you know, I've still got... Have I still got the thing on the edge? Oh no, it's gone. So I wouldn't be able to pull them in. I'd have to go back to shore. What's kind of interesting is that um, although there's no visible sign of swordfish on the surface when we pulled these lines in the deep lines in when we pulled those in last time we had a whole bunch of swordfish so there's clearly swordfish in the area whether or not we can see them on the surface is a very different thing i think i get the impression that harpooning is going to be incredibly difficult if you if this was your fishing technique to just go harpooning I can't see how you would ever successfully fish. I could see how it makes sense if you're out dropping lines and then you happen to see some fish. 
And you think, right, quick, grab the harpoon. That makes sense to me. But doing it this way around just seems like you're going to spend a long time looking and not a lot of time fishing. So we're past the point where they were previously seen. God, every time that happens, I, it seems like we're being attacked by a sea creature. We're going to have to do something about that. It's horrible. I also kind of feel like, because at the moment it alerts you to say which lines have had a bite and which ones haven't. Um, I kind of feel like I'd like it to be more realistic to life. I just want there to be a hardcore mode where the game doesn't tell me that they've caught anything and I have to come out here and look. That would just be, I mean, obviously a lot harder, a lot more time consuming. But if there were, like I said before, if there were online leaderboards that reflected the fact that you were playing in hardcore mode and, and therefore every catch you make is worth more, then I'd be quite happy to do that. But I don't think I can go to port whilst I'm in first person view. Again, this is what I'd love to do. I'd love to throw a line out, haul the boat in. That would just make this game so much better. And I was really kind of hoping that they'd have implemented this kind of stuff, but they haven't really. I've just kind of kept it on that same simple... It's just, it's just too simple, isn't it? Oh, before we do that, we need to get... We need to go and get another crew member because our crew member has... He's disappeared. He's gone. I don't know where he's gone, but he has gone. Right, what are you good at? Long line hauling, that's what we're interested in. What, one thing I, I really do like and really do appreciate is how dark it is out there. When the moon comes out and it's a full moon, you can see a lot more, obviously. But um, until that happens, this is awesome. One thing that they do need to fix, though, is this. You see the searchlight there, it's not moving at all. It's so what I have to do, the only way I can do it is to come out, go to lights, click on this, and then change it. Like so, which is obviously not, not very good. I can't see a bloody thing. All I can see is the weird reflection off that. Just move it slightly to the right like that, and see if that helps. At least I can see something now. I wonder if any other boats out there have um, have their lights on so that we can see them. Have their running lights on. I don't see a single boat at night time. But if you look on the map, there's supposedly two right in front of me. Is that one perhaps? There's one there. See, look, I think he's actually sailing straight towards us. Right, this could be interesting then. Let's see. Look, definitely no night lights on that boat. But this guy is definitely sailing, right? Let's see what happens if we hit him. Maybe not at full speed, though. Or maybe at full speed. What? How did I miss you? So he does have his night... Look, he does have his lights on. I just can't see them. They definitely need to be more prominent, don't they? I love the fact that it's dark. But if it's dark, then the lights themselves need to be brighter. So this guy looks to be tanking it at full speed into the shore. What's he going to do? <laughs> Obviously a drug runner. Obviously a drug runner. And then he just vanishes. Great. Lucky I didn't try to ram him then. All right, let's see if this boat is real or fictional. I mean, I'm so close to it now and I can still barely see the lights on the side of the boat. Let's crash into him very slowly. Yeah, so we took a bit of damage on the hull there. I'm not sure, see again, that's the thing that's, that irritates me about simulation games. I didn't hit the hull. I hit the front, this thing, the plinth, whatever that's called. And I'd much rather the damage be Oh, we're going to smash into him proper here. Oh, that must have been close. Okay, so I'm a bit nervous. I mean, there's no... There's no sort of... Channel lights or anything like that to guide us out at night time. I think there ought to be. Yeah, see, look. If I'd have carried on that trajectory, we'd have hit that little island there. So let's go M and let's just speed track it. Well, that was weird. We went back into port and then out again. We got some bites. See, that's the kind of thing I don't want to see. I think, though, that only comes up when you're 
within range of it. But there's no need to because I can see myself just by looking at it that the reds are up. So I, I, I don't even need that information to be honest. It's, it's pointless. Now there must be a way... Oh look, the bite sensor. I just spotted that on the dash as well, that's pretty cool. What's this thing? Ah, this allows me to rotate the searchlight, does it? So when I click on that, then I can do this. Okay, that, I get it. It's a bit of a weird mechanic, but it works. So I just click on it again and then it doesn't work. Okay, well that's something I've discovered. So let's turn the working lights on, let's turn the internal lights on. No, let's turn those off. I need those. That's a horn. Oh, we do have a... No, that doesn't drop the anchor. I thought it might. Radio channels. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to play that or not, but that's pretty cool. That's a nice addition. So we can manage the crew from here, which is cool. So let's do that. Let's try and do it all in first person if we can. So he just appears out of nowhere, of course. Assumes the position. Uh, so normally we had... I wonder if I could have two crew members on this boat. I probably could. But this is going to be tricky at night. Because I can't see a bloody thing. And that searchlight isn't ideal. If I had two crew members, then they could be hauling in. Although I've got to say, that the boys light up a lot more than the boats. They light up a lot more than the other boats do. Again, look, you can't put it where you want it. Again, we need some lights on the controls up here so we can see what we're doing at night. Let me get this set up as I want it. Just keep clicking that till I think it's at zero. Oh god, it wasn't. Alright, let's go 2.5 on the trajectory. I think we should be good. Oh, we might not be close enough actually. Slight adjustment there. Just got it. Only just though. And again, I always miss the first one. Awesome. And my head's gone. You get decapitated every single time. And then um, your ability to walk is impaired as well. Yeah, let's try three and a half knots this time. And I've got to say, it does look pretty cool when you're... At times, it looks awesome. Certainly got some qualities, this game. It might not be everything I hoped it would be. It's, it's far from, from awful. Oh, am I supposed to be aiming at this first one? Is that is that what I've been doing wrong? I've been going for anyone and I've got to go for the first one. So we've got maximum cargo capacity, so we should be alright. Well, why is the boat suddenly accelerated? Well, I'm stuck in this view, I can't do anything. Missed again. See, look, the boat has just suddenly accelerated. So we're going to have to go in reverse. Try and figure out what the hell's going on. So that was weird. Uh, that's not happened before. That's the first time it's accelerated past the boy. And I'm not sure that one's set. I don't see the red boy. I don't think this one's fired. Go find out, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing on that one at all. So that's cool. It does work. If uh, if the red boy hasn't gone off, then uh, then there's no fish on it, and that's that's awesome. That's exactly how it should be. Okay, now we've got some problems though. Look at this. Because I had the hook in my hand, it's causing all sorts of problems. But this is good. I mean, good in the sense that it's not guaranteed. Just because in the first one, fishing barren sea, it very much felt like oh, there is a fish on it, it's so weird. It very much felt like if I put my fishing line down, I'm getting fish, and that's the end of the story. But that it's accelerated again, look. So that one hadn't fired, but there are fish here, so it's it. I think it's a bug because now we're just flying along, and I think it's when we come across one of these things that haven't fired that's when it gets all confused and starts accelerating so the whole time I've been doing this I've been walking back thinking I'm controlling that but I'm not the game does that for you 
So you don't have to haul it in at all, it does that. 695.3 kilograms of fish was lost. Oh well. I cannot enter the port whilst in first person view or so it, so it looks. Would you like to sell your fish at Dennis Point? Yes, I would. 202,000. So we actually did a lot better. Nice. Okay, so let's go to the dock. Go to the shipyard and just remind myself what price this is going to be. 675,000. So we're about halfway there. I don't really like the look of this boat, if I'm being honest. It looks very plain and very basic. I mean, look at that. What's that all about? Maybe I'll like it more when I'm when I'm on it. But definitely climbing up and down the ladders for me needs to be animated. Let's see if we can go out and get some more fishy wishies. Um, let's go to town. Let's go to the bar. See if we can't get some uh, mackerel three days ago. Okay, let's go see if we can find some mackerel. Where are they on the map? So there's a lot of tuna and a lot of mackerel out here. So I'm guessing this is where we need to be. Some deep sea fishing. I think there's a, a real genuine concern in my head about anyone who might have um, sensitivity to flashing lights with this, the way it is. If you if you have epilepsy or whatever, I should I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try real hard to remember to put an epilepsy warning on my video just in case. Don't want anyone being ill as a result of this. So he doesn't seem to be doing much, and we are way past. We are way past the point where he should be doing it. Oh, I see. I have to click on one of the... I have to pick them. I gotcha. Oh, there he goes. Look. He's taking his sweet time about it, though, isn't he? Put it in the water, man. What is he doing? So he's prepped one, but he just won't throw it in the... I don't know what's going on there. He's not doing it. Stick a couple on the mackerel and a couple on the tuna, and then we're going to go home. Although having said that, you know, it's it's quite a long jaunt. So maybe uh, by the time we've done it, it'll be six hours that's been in the water already. So we might just be able to do a round robin. The waves are a little bit bigger out here, aren't they? Definitely a little bit more going on. Let's head over here. Five days ago, nine days ago. So we definitely want to go to this one. Oh, look, if you right click on it, it gets rid of that marker. I did that by accident, but that's how you remove them. It's starting to get dark. So we're going to be pulling these pots in at night again, which does make things quite a bit harder. It's probably easier to set at night and haul in in the day, and I think I'll probably try and do that. But how long has this been in the water? 14 hours. Oh gosh. That is quite a long time. That might be too long. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Looks like the weather's a little bit more aggressive now. The waves have picked up a smidge. Still nothing really particularly exciting. Pretty good. So I think that's a tuna fish. I'm not entirely sure. Correct me where necessary. Decapitation complete. <laughs> we can headlessly find our way back to the back to the uh, cockpit. Now it's the first time we fished out here, so I'm very curious. It, one of them's fired. It looks like. I don't think they've both fired. I don't think the first one has fired. So I'm just hoping it's a. I was going to say a little bit harder to catch fish. I think it should be a lot harder to catch fish this time round. It was way too easy in the first game. Just way too easy. Too perfect, that's all right. We can cope with that. Decapitation complete, let's move on to the next one. So interestingly, we caught the same fish there. I don't know if you spotted that. I didn't at first. Uh, so we got uh, a couple of swordfish and a tuna. Not the red fish that we were expecting. Maybe we've got the wrong um, rigging. Oh, that was bad. Maybe we got the wrong rigging for redfish. I think that's probably what the problem is. We're rigged for um, swordfish and uh, tuna, I guess. So maybe we'll have more luck down the bottom here with the tuna. Pretty good amount of time. I think we're going to end up chucking some fish. Oh, this one's gone blue, look. 
They've both gone blue. They've all gone blue. So what does blue mean? I'll have to look in the wiki. I think it means... Um, I think it means they're ready to be pulled in. Yeah, definitely got some waves now. Well, not really waves, are they? Just standard stuff. Yeah, I think it's the rigging that either guarantees or... Well, I think it's the rigging that decides what you can catch. So we've got the wrong boat and the wrong rigging for, for redfish and herring and such. Which is a bit frustrating, you know, maybe we shouldn't be catching anything at all because we're, we're fishing in an area that's supposed to have herring in and we're catching swordfish and tuna again. A bit more perfection. That's what we want. And we lost 1,367 kilogram fish. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. Wow. So everything we catch here is going to end up going to waste. Ooh, what happened there? But the engine isn't in the water. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, we've got no fuel. We have run out of fuel. Shish kabang. Well, at least we filled up the boat before we ran out of fuel. Obviously, we're going to have to... Uh, so, 247.58 for repairs, 8,000 for towing, and 1,250 for fuel. So, not 10,000 at all, then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are my fish gone? You took my fish. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not what we agreed. You took my fish. They took my bloody fish. That's not on. I'm not happy about that at all. Yeah, that's that's really irritated me. Yeah, I'm not happy at all now. Wow. But I'm starting to get the impression that it, it really doesn't matter where I put my lines. I don't think it makes any difference at all. I'm going to test that theory, actually. I'm going to test it right now. I'm literally dropping them by the... Uh, by the port. And we'll see what happens. So I'm guessing fast travel uses more uh, fuel than normal travel. I mean, we're going a long way out. We're literally at the edge of the map here. And we've only got the smallest boat, so probably we shouldn't be doing this. It probably hasn't got the right engine for this sort of distance. Okay, we got them in sight. I think, uh, like it was in the first game, if you leave them out for 24 hours, you lose them completely. Um, but I must say, I am pretty annoyed. I know I ran out of fuel, and I had to pay 10,000 to get towed back into shore, but why would they take my fish? We've got enough to get to the edge of the map and back again on just the small boat. That's not a problem. What we don't have is enough to get to the edge of the map, back to the edge of the map, and back again. I think that's when we're pushing the limits. Now, there's a thing in fishing whereby you can have um, another ship come and take your catch back to back to port on your behalf so that you don't um, have to stop fishing. That should be a service I think is available and I also wonder whether or not you can call for um, fuel. Now we're going to have a slight problem here aren't we? It's fired by the way. So this is a good test. What kind of uh, catch are we going to get? We're also going to uh, run out of space. Yeah, see, we're still catching the same fish. So, I mean, you don't even need to go to port. You don't even need to find the fish. You just drop the pots absolutely anywhere and you'll catch fish. That's really disappointing. I think ultimately this is going to be, when I review this game, it's just going to be, yeah, it's, it's a good game. It's not a simulator. It's a long way off being a simulator. Unbaited deep line is too damaged. Why are they all damaged? I can understand the ones that I left out deep at sea. But why, are the one, why is the one I've just pulled in damaged? Oh, there's that dude again. I wonder if they can drive into you. So if I'm stationary and he sails straight into me, like he's going to sail straight over my pot there, look. It's, it's gone straight over my line, it looks like. Well, very bloody close to it, anyway. They've all gone wonky. So back was left and left was forwards and everything went a bit weird then. Be like, he is tanking it. He is going at some rate. I think this is the last pot we can pull in. 
But it's not a big deal because, you know, we're, we're only like 10 feet away from the port. So just go in, drop, drop them off, get some more, and away we go. I'll come back out and get the rest of these in a bit. So what's interesting is that we haven't hit our limit. Oh look, one of them's gone red. 18 hours in the water, that's too long apparently. Just double check. Oh no, we can do one more pop. We can do one more pop. I would love to see a more in-depth economy on this. I would like to see the AI ships that are driving about aimlessly straight into the shore. I'd actually like, like for them to go out and fish. And depending on how many fish they catch, affects the price at which we sell our fish at. That would be that would be wonderful. So if they've had a really good day the fish prices will be down and if they've had a terrible day the fish prices will be up. And you know then we could compare our company against their company and try and be try and be the best company in the area. That would add a lot to the career I think. We've only got 177.6 176 blah, blah, blah. 176.6 kilograms of free space. Yes, I'd like to sell my fish. 175,000. It's not as good as we were getting before, but let's be honest, I'm only having to go 10 yards to do it. So I think if I save the game and restart these crashes boat again, look. If he's, uh, if we save the game and come back into it, I fully suspect that uh, our crew member will have disappeared. Wow, there's some, there's some tight manoeuvring between the AI. I, I actually don't think they collided, but I get the impression that given enough time, they will collide with each other. And I, d I doubt anything will happen, but it's just not good to see, is it? Like I say, if, if they had a purpose, if they were going out to sea to fish, then they'd probably bang into each other a lot less often. Yes, sell my fish. 97,000 in the bank. So one more haul, and we should have enough. That one doesn't look like it's fired. I mean, all we need really is 100,000, and we've got enough to buy the next boat. That's kind of all I'm really looking for. So that hasn't fired. That one hasn't fired, but you can see the next one has. So yeah, I mean, I haven't read the wiki, and it hasn't told me in the tutorial at all, but it does certainly seem like... Um, Red boys on the map means no fish, and blue boys on the map means fish. I just kind of feel like it's it's just such a game, which for some people is perfect, because that's what they want, a nice chilled out game to enjoy. But, uh, you know, I'm looking for something a bit more realistic, a bit more challenging, a bit more involved. And I'm not really getting that with this game. I, mean, I think I made quite a few good suggestions uh, for Fishing Barrent Sea and they really haven't considered or implemented any of them. Not even the, um, the map zoom problem. Yeah, fella. Yeah, not even the map zoom. Oh look, this one's just fired. Just gone blue. So we get about one to two, between one and three hundred thousand for a full uh, storage hold, and we got about three thousand left. So I'm thinking probably about seventy-five thousand, hundred and twenty-five thousand, something like that. Now, what's interesting in Fishing Barren Sea is when it first came out, it was really close to being a simulator. Then they developed it so that it became more of a game, and it moved a lot further away from being a simulator, which was disappointing. And then they started really expanding each of the boats. So they had like um, kitchens and cabin rooms and a whole host of stuff that I wasn't expecting to see. And that gave me hope. That gave me the sense of, oh wow, these guys, not only are they very talented and very capable, but they're very serious about making this like a full on simulation experience. This game doesn't really feel like I was correct in that assumption. This game feels like... Now, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely going out on a limb here. 
I'm just speaking my mind. This is how it feels. I'm not saying this is how it is. I'm not accusing anybody of anything. But I get the impression that because sales weren't as good as they perhaps wanted, even though it was an incredibly successful game and loads of people liked it, I think they got the impression that they need to go down the game route rather than the simulation route. I think they feel like that's where the money is. And I think they're chasing the money. And I wish them all the best. I hope they're going to sell loads and loads and loads of copies of this. But as a Sim fan, and oh crap, we're going to hit this thing. Well, at least we can figure out what damage it does. None at all. Oh, there wasn't a thing there at all. It was part of my boat. <laughs> Trick of the light. Uh, yeah, as a sim fan and with, you know, uh, subscribers who are looking for simulation stuff on my channel, I don't see how I can recommend this as a simulator. I can't because it's not. It's a long way off being a simulator. And I, I get the impression that they're not heading in the simulator direction, which is a real shame. Right, I just, I just want to see what happens. I'm not steering the boat. I'm not doing anything. If he flies into us, then he has hit us. In terms of realism, obviously we want to see some, some damage. Is he actively avoiding us? I can't tell. I think he's very gently rubbing against us. <laughs> very affectionate, this boat. And now he's reversing. He is actively reversing away from us. Interesting. So if I rather rudely get in his way again... What happens this time? Yeah, he stops before he hits us. Oh, and then he goes again. Oh, yes, he's definitely smashing into us. And he's definitely doing damage. 5% damage to the hull. But he did actively stop or slow down before he hit us. And he's now kind of pushing us towards the shore, which is a bit of a problem. So I need to try and force my way off him somehow. Okay, this is a bit scary, guys. I've got full engine and we're still stuck on this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If he pushes us into the into the shore, we're screwed. Oof. Okay, now they're going to hit each other. No, they just stop. So, okay, that shows a lot of things there. That shows the physics are really quite poor. If a boat slams its brakes on, it just stops instantly. That's quite disappointing. You can drop your line and fish just about anywhere, just about any way, and you'll catch. It, it's it's not challenging at all. It's it's very easy. 